all for coming tonight. Um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> You're too soft. Do I need a mic? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> excited to have everybody here. Um, before we begin, I'd just like to introduce myself to everybody and then thank a few people who um, made this event possible and then a quick overview of the evening. So, <coughs> excuse me, my name is Dina Daniel and I'm a graduate student at the Master's in Counseling program at SMU in the Plano campus. And I'm currently working on my license for marriage and family counseling. I'm also a part of the Association for Student Counselors as the uh, community liaison. And we've co-sponsored this event with uh, Perkins School of Theology, of which I'd like to thank uh, Dr. Robert Hunt for being a key resource and support for us. Um, we're also grateful for the support and guidance of Dr. Uh, Ferenbacher and Dr. Barkley from our department. Um, I'd also like to thank a couple of key members of the community who have worked really hard to make this event possible as well, and that's uh, Sonia Noor Mohammed and Ria Samani, who you'll hear, um, you'll meet later on this evening. We're also really thankful for our panelists. Um, some have traveled far to, to come here tonight, and um, and some have adjusted their evening and travel plans as well to be here. So we're really thankful for all of you and um, are excited to have you share your expertise with us this evening. So the various religions have always required its followers to help those in need. And, um, but we're here tonight to explore the benefits for the individual who actually gives the service. So we'll hear from five scholars, uh, four of which represent the major religions, and one an expert in the mental health profession. So tonight we'll, we'll have each panelist come up uh, and speak a little bit about uh, their faith and philosophy and how service plays within that construct. And then we'll open it up for questions and discussion. And then lastly, we have invited a few local organizations uh, that are doing great work in the community uh, to receive an award of uh, recognition from the Association of Student Counselors. So, we have with us tonight uh, Pravrajika Brahmaprana, the resident minister of the Ramakrishna Vedanta Society of North Texas, Rabbi Hanan Schlesinger, executive director and community rabbinic scholar of the Jewish Studies Initiative of North Texas. <laughs> Dr. Robert Hunt, Executive Director of Global Theological Education at SMU. And uh, Shiraz Hajiani, lecturer at the University of Chicago and PhD candidate at the University of Chicago Department of Near Eastern Languages and Civilizations. And Dr. Hal Barkley, Director of the Masters in Counseling Program at SMU. So, let's welcome our first speaker, Pravajika Brahmaprana, has been a nun of the Ramakrishna Order at the Vedanta Society of Southern California since 1973. Brahmaprana has compiled and edited several books on Vedanta and has also written numerous articles on the philosophy and practice of Vedanta for journals and anthologies in America and abroad. She is a Vedanta Hindu representative on several interfaith <coughs> councils and a frequent guest lecturer at schools, colleges, and universities in America. Please welcome Pravrajika Ramaprana. <laughs> 